how can I get more bang for my buck in the produce department? A lot of us love to eat organic fruits and vegetables, but especially during these different economic times, we're always wondering how can we get the biggest bang for our buck when we're buying vegetables and fruits in our local groceries. I've got some tips for you that I think will help your budget and your health. Take these bananas, for example. You're not going to be eating the outside of these bananas. This is also the same with cantaloupe and pineapple. You might as well save some money in that area. But with things like broccoli or apples or blueberries, where you are eating the outside of it, it's better better to invest those extra cents to make sure that your family is getting the healthiest version of the produce that you're looking for. Another great way to save some money in the produce section so you can still provide your family with the healthy, nutritious produce that they need is to use this very simple, easy recipe for a wash. The easy, inexpensive recipe is to get your veggies home, get a nice big bowl, put about half a gallon of warm tap water with two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Put your produce inside and let it sit for about seven to 10 minutes. Be sure and take it out, clean it off nicely, and make sure that you dry your vegetables so that they can stay longer because a wet vegetable doesn't usually last long and you've got some nice, healthy, pesticide-free produce for you and your family. For those of you who suffer from food allergies, stores like Whole Foods have a plethora of opportunities out there for you to be able to get the same foods that you desired before you were gluten-free, such as bakehouse cookies, breads, and pastas. There's no need to go hungry. A lot of us know how to read labels, but do you really know what you're looking for? I just happened to pick up this granola bar that is certified organic, and I started reading the label. Come to find out, it has 13 grams of sugar inside of it. That 13 grams of sugar is not from healthy fruit sugars that you would normally like to see on a healthy granola bar. They are processed and syrup sugars. So what I want you guys to realize is that it's very important that you understand what is actually in the product, not just glancing at it saying, oh, this is a granola part, should be a very healthy snack for me. Another thing to really look towards is your fiber content. The average standard diet at 2,000 calories needs up to 25 grams of fiber per day. Make sure that you're getting that by reading your labels and understanding the grams that you're getting out of the food qualities that we often think are good, but they're not so good.